Today I'm going to go through your Form N-400 application with you. First, I will ask you questions about your personal information. How long have you been a lawful permanent resident? When did you become a lawful permanent resident? Please tell me your full name. Would you like to legally change your name? What is your date of birth? Where is your country of birth? What is your country of citizenship or nationality? What is your daytime phone number? What is your current home address? How long have you lived at your current home address? Did you move to a new address since you filed your form in 400? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Is your mother a U.S. citizen? Is your father a U.S. citizen? Is your race Asian? What is your height? What is your weight? Is your eye color brown? Is your hair black? Now I'm going to ask you a few questions about your employment. Are you working now? Who is your employer? How long have you worked at your current company? What is your job there? And what do you do? Now I'm going to ask you a few questions about your trips out of the United States. Have you traveled outside of the United States during the last five years? How many trips have you taken during the last five years? What countries have you visited? Did any of those trips last six months or more? Why did you leave the United States on your last trip? Now I'm going to ask you a few questions about your spouse and children. Are you married or single? Is your spouse a current member of the U.S. Armed Forces? When did you get married to your spouse? How many times have you been married? What is your spouse's full name? What is your spouse's date of birth? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Do you have any children? How many children do you have? Where was he or she born? What is your child's relationship to you? Now I'm going to ask you questions related to part 12 of your application. Have you ever claimed to be a US citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Did you ever have a hereditary title in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? Do you owe any overdue taxes? Do you file your taxes every year during the time you have worked in the U.S.? 
Have you ever been a member of any organization, association, fund foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the US or in any other places in the world? Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? How about any totalitarian party? What about a terrorist organization? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, or political opinion? Were you ever involved in any way with genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt someone on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion, were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in any military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization? Were you ever part of any group or did you ever help any group that use weapons against any person or threaten to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by the police? Have you ever been charged with a crime or offense? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the US illegally? Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Failed to support your dependents? Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the US? Have you ever lied to any US government officials for any reasons? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the US? Have you ever served in the US Armed Forces? Did you register for the Selective Service? Now I'm going to ask you a few questions about the Oath of Allegiance. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the US Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work on national importance under civilian direction?